Welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. My name is Amy and I'm from the channel Flip It Furniture. And today we're updating this traditional style dresser. For a list of all the products I use in this video and where to buy them, be sure to check out the description box below. Now let's flip it. I start by removing all the hardware. We are gonna replace this hardware. If that was the only thing that I did on this piece, it would completely change and update it. Now I thoroughly clean my piece and I'm using Dixie Bell's White Lightning Cleaner. When I finish cleaning my piece, I take a sanding pad and I start to sand the top. The top has all these little scratches and gouges, so I'm using Dixie Bell's Mud in White to fill them all in. When the mud is dry, I come back with my sanding pad and I just smooth it out. Now that it's clean and all my holes are filled, I'm going to be using Dixie Bell Slick Stick Primer on the entire piece. Since this isn't real wood and the surface is really shiny, this primer is going to help my paint adhere properly. My go-to brush when I'm applying Slick Stick is the Scarlet brush. The bristles are really firm, so it goes on nice and smooth. I apply a total of two coats of Slick Stick on the entire dresser, waiting two hours in between coats. And then I wait a whole 12 hours, which is overnight, to apply my paint. The color I chose for this dresser is called Spanish Moss. I'm using my water mister and my Dixie Bell brush to apply the paint. I'm going to apply two coats on the entire base and the drawers of this dresser. I'm gonna do something different with the top. I get a lot of questions about the water mister. Why do I use the water mister? Well, the water mister helps reduce brush strokes and it really helps me get a little bit more from my paint. Um, if you've ever seen anybody use a sprayer, they water that down. So just using a little bit of water really reduces any of those brush strokes. So I can get a pretty smooth finish. For the top, I'm adding two coats of Dixie Belle's coffee bean. I just wait for the coffee bean to dry before adding my second coat. If you've watched my videos before, you know that one of my go-to tops is the wash. I love the wash, but I realize that I've never really done a wash, a dark wash on top in my videos. And I have to tell you, they come out just as beautiful as the light washes. So that's what we're doing for this piece. Now for the wash, we're gonna use Dixie Belle's chocolate. It's pretty much a 50-50 mix for my washes of paint and water. Thank you. 
For the look that I'm going for, I apply my wash in rows. Now I'm taking a cotton t-shirt, it's an old one, it was a garbage one with some holes in it, and I'm just wiping back the wash. Now what happens is you can see some streaking in there, and when it all dries, it dries with that dark coffee bean and that chocolate. So we get this beautiful effect. And when you're doing your wash, keep in mind that the pressure you apply on your rag will determine your final result. So if you apply a lot of pressure, you're gonna take a lot of that chocolate off and you're gonna have more of the coffee bean. If you apply less, you're gonna have a little bit of that coffee bean showing through and more of the lighter chocolate top. I also love these washes because if you have a top that has you know, a little bit of texture or maybe there were some scratches, these washes cover them so nicely. And when you're applying your sealer to the top of this, you know, sometimes we worry about getting streaking. It's so forgiving when you have a wash because the wash already has those streaks in it. And it's another technique that you sort of have to trust the process because even looking at it right now, it doesn't look like it's gonna come out really pretty. Even when the paint was dry, I still thought, eh, it's okay. But once you put that sealer on it, that sealer really brings out the variations in color and it shines it and makes it look just smooth and gorgeous. I'm applying one coat of Dixie Belle's Clear Coat in Satin on the entire dresser, and that's because we're gonna be using wax. We're gonna use Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in brown. Since I'm only using it on the details for just some extra character, I'm gonna seal this piece first, because once I wipe it back, once I wipe any of the excess brown wax back, it's gonna come off a lot easier because I've sealed it. And when I'm applying my sealer to the piece, I just focus on not leaving any drips or globs, and I like to smooth it out. You wanna work a little bit quick because you don't wanna be smoothing it out so much that then it starts to run and you start to pull. Once it starts to dry, that's when you start to pull and that's when you'll get your streaks. So you wanna work with it a little bit quicker. I have this French tip brush and this is designated for my waxes. I love this brush because it has the little tip and it gets into all of the cracks and that's where I really like my wax to be. I'm not using a lot of the wax. I'm using a gentle hand because I want it to be pretty light. This piece is just beautiful. It's turning out so gorgeous. The only reason I'm using wax is because it is a little plain and it needs a little bit more character. So this wax is going to give it that variation of colors. I'm not trying to age this piece. I do want it to look traditional still and I want it to look fresh, but if we don't put the wax in these corners, it's gonna have no dimension. And dimension is a huge part. It doesn't have to be in your face dimension all the time. It could just be a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Now I take my baby wipe and I'm wiping most of the wax off. I'm just leaving it in the creases. If I hadn't used that sealer, it would be so hard to wipe this wax off. Then I continue adding my wax to all the creases on this dresser. Wax is a really easy way to get that depth and dimension on your pieces. It really takes your piece to the next level and it's easy enough for even a beginner to do. I wanna show you really quick. This side has all been waxed. 
all the creases are waxed and the other side has not. And it's not a huge thing that happened. You know, it's not like we dumped wax all over it. It's very subtle, but it makes a huge difference. I've waited three days for that wax to dry. It's completely dry, so now I can add my top coat. And I add Dixie Belle's top coat in satin on this entire piece. I like to show how I do the tops of these pieces, how I'm sealing them, because I know a lot of people struggle with streaking, but as you can see, I'm just working with it while it's still wet, and I'm working to smooth it out, make sure there's no streaks, and my tops usually come out pretty good. I would say the key is to smooth it out before it starts drying, and you get about 30 seconds before it starts to dry, and then it starts to pull and you get those streaks. And I'm not talking about for the whole thing to dry. I'm saying 30 seconds per row. You know, once your row starts to dry, then you gotta kinda just move on to the next row. But you get about 30 seconds to smooth that row out before going on to the next one. And you don't have to take the whole 30 seconds. You just wanna get it smoothed out before 30 seconds, I would say. 30 seconds is a good time frame. And here's a reminder of what it looked like before, just kind of plain. And here's what it looks like today. And I did update those pulls. They're a nice rich bronze to match the top. And this top is kind of the showstopper of the piece. I wish that my lighting was better because it's very rich and I can see that it sort of looks faded there, but it's not. It's just a gorgeous rich brown. The finish on this piece is beautiful. It's buttery smooth. It just looks really nice. I'm so excited. The woman that gave me this piece is actually buying it back. <laughs> when I was almost finished with it a couple days ago, she messaged me to see if I had anything because she was looking for a piece for her husband. And here we go. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next week.